Hi everyone, today we are talking about what are the best horses to buy in Star Stable Online. So I really do recommend this video to players who are trying to save Star Coins. Because there are such a huge selection of horses in the game, it's really hard to decide which horse that you want because like if you're on a budget, how do you pick out of the hundreds of horses to buy? Like which one do you actually get? So I'm just going to talk about what I think you should get if you're on a budget, you know, because a lot of players, they buy horses based off of the disciplines they do or whatever they do in the game. So let's just talk about, I guess, like the most efficient horses you could be using. So first of all, if you want to do any Western disciplines, then obviously I recommend that you buy a quarter horse because I feel like that is the most like Western horse in the game. You could also get a paint horse or an Appaloosa, but I feel like a quarter horse would be the best option because I'm pretty sure the quarter horse is one of the fastest horses in the game. They also have a lot of color options, so you won't have a problem picking out a really pretty horse because you'll know exactly which one to get based off of the variety of coat colors. Like, yeah, having too much option might be bad, but... I feel like when you have a really pretty horse, you just know what to get. So this kind of narrows it down. So if you really want to get really good scores in like barrel racing or pole bedding or the other western races that are in Star Stable, then get a quarter horse. But moving on, let's say that you want to do pony racing. I would recommend getting literally only one pony unless if you plan on doing pony races all the time. Because Star Stable really mainly is a horse game, we only have like one pony championship and one pony race. And if I was to get any pony, any pony to recommend, I would just say the Yorvik Starter Pony. That pony is realistic, it looks like a real pony I've seen at stables before, and on top of that it's also the most like inexpensive horse pony ever. Like, it's only 350 Star Coins, so you get several of them, even if you're on a budget. So you could use them for the Pony Race or the Pony Championship. I actually only have one pony, and it is a Yorvik Starter Pony. But moving on, what if you want to do, like, English disciplines or, like, you know, championships like the Fort Pinto Champ or maybe the Baroness Racetrack Champ or the Fur Grove? Anyway, yeah, get an English Thoroughbred. I feel like that's like the best option for championships. I know a lot of people say the quarter horse is the fastest, but but from my experience, the English Thoroughbred is really quick. Like it has a really quick walk. It has a really fast jump. It's a really fast galloping horse, which I'm not surprised because that is a race horse in the game. So obviously quarter horse could also be a race horse, but I feel like the Thoroughbreds just do it a little bit better. So of course, get a Thoroughbred. But if you are into dressage, then it might be a little bit harder to pick out a horse, especially if you're like new to it. But if I was to get any dressage horse, I would select the Lusitano, a Paso Fino, Lipa's Honor, or any other Spanish horse breed that's in the game. A lot of people select the Frisian horse to be their dressage horse, which like Frisian horses are not dressage horses, I'm pretty sure. It don't matter because it's a game really, but like a lot of people do not like the Frisian horse. So if you don't like it, you don't have to settle for it. There is a bunch of other breeds you could use as a dressage horse. But let's say it's a cold season. A lot of players get really immersed into the game. Sometimes I do. And when I'm cold, I feel like my character and my horse are also cold. Like I feel like real life kind of just reflects into the game for some reason. Like, if it's winter in real life, it's winter in the game for me. Like, I have to bundle up. So, if you want to be immersed into the game and really play along with the seasons, then I recommend getting the Icelandic horse, the Fjord horse. But if it is a summer season, you obviously don't want to be riding around a really, like, furry horse because it'll be too hot. So... You might want a Akiltik horse, or maybe an Arabian horse. Just horses that are built to handle hot temperatures. And I know somebody could say, oh, well, you know, they have 
coats that could help them handle any weather, but I don't really think that's that true because some animals are just built for some other temperatures and that's just how it is. Like for example, donkeys have really thick fur, but there is actual studies proving that they do better in warmer climates than colder climates. And some horses that have thinner fur do better in colder than warmer. It all depends on the breed. But I do know that Arabian horses and Akilteek horses are for, like, hotter climates. So if you're into that, then go get those horses, of course. And sometimes people like to get horses that are specifically for quests. And if I was to recommend any horse for a quest, then I would say, of course, get, like, a Yorvik wild horse. I feel like that's a perfect quest horse because it just is, I feel like, built for just exploring the land. I would say any, like, heavy horse, though, could be used for quests, you know? Like a Percheron horse, a Shire horse, maybe a Clydesdale. But obviously you could ride around whatever horse you want. If you want to roleplay as an equestrian, then you could get just about whatever horse, because, like, you know real equestrians ride just about whatever horse they can. However, I think if you're on a budget though, magic horses are a good option if you want multiple coat colors in one because you could have a magic coat or a regular coat. If you're not into regular coats, that's fine because it's a magic coat. If you're not into magic coats, then you could have a realistic coat, so you get both to both worlds. So yeah, you could also for dressage get an Andalusian horse and also, don't forget for disciplines like show jumping or dressage, you could also have a Belgian warm blood because they are pretty versatile. You could also have a Dutch warm blood. I believe the Trackner horse is also a really good option for cross country and show jumping. And of course, not sure if I said it already, but the Fjord is really great for winter. And the Marwari is also a good option if you are into horses that could be used for the summer, but that is pretty much it. While I'm recording this, there isn't a Gen 3 Mustang in the game yet, but if there is by the time this video comes out, then get a Mustang if you're into western stuff. So yeah, that's it. Bye!